I've been in a mood lately for more Sirenia, and luckily we've had the new album debut in fact today as I'm recording this to satisfy that yearning. But, you know, generally I experience this feeling, not just with the Sirenia regard, but anything of course I'm sure many of you could attest to by frequent declarations on this, with the European rock and metal regard, always an advantageous uh, getaway for me. But even more specific than that, symphonic metal? It's a particular favorite of mine. There are certain groups that have special recognition in my mind, especially on the symphonic metal territory. It, it, well, really, there's not been an artist on this channel that I've showcased that I've not liked, or any song in particular. Sirenia, though, has really sat in with me. Every occasion I've humored their music, with one exception from, again, what I've consulted thus far, I'm still making my way for their older library. I've yet to really peruse deeply, but even uh, pre the Emmanuel Zaldan era, um... But with exception to Dim Days of Dolore, I love that song. Every other piece I've heard by Sirenia at this point, I've humored of you for the first time. And it's always a fun experience to spotlight good music. Many of you know, as I've said frequently, it's my ambition to enhance music as a presence here in terms of coverage, given it is such a dominant love in my life and it's been for a number of years. But I admire with, specifically music, the fellowship quality that we can have in experiences from different angles. Maybe you're a longtime Sirenia fan. I know there are many of you. And I'm honored to be, you know, where, even though I'm much younger again by my uh, age in adoration of this group, I think I'd be fair in saying that we share the same point of reverence, though I'm, you're, I'm sure for many of you your knowledge is extensive beyond, beyond mine. And I would imagine maybe some of you are approaching Cybrenia as well on a first name basis. At least that's my hope that we come to this content with a mixture of perspectives and that it very much is a mutual enjoyment experience, whatever angle we're coming from. And if you happen to be on a first introduction basis with Cybrenia, I think you're going to be thrilled. If you're into Grand Vision, just generally speaking, or good music, you know, good art, quite frankly. Sirenia offers that. I've just been enchanted, quite frankly. Again, a symphonic metal, particular favorite of mine, but the vocal structuring, I really developed a love for operatic metal. And Emmanuel Zodan's beautiful accent mixed with her range is just incredible to humor. I think you're going to be in for a fun thrill ride, as well as you know, with the rest of the group. The percussion work is quite strong. The guitar work and the bass work, absolutely exquisite. It creates a, such dynamic pieces in scope. I love the experience of sharing in the joy and elation that Sirenia, for me, always offers in different respects, right? Different flares to the music, of course, on dimension of where the symphonic, uh, or the tone goes different places, but always just fun, fun journeys to have. And I hope that you experience the same if you happen to be a new listener. And I really do hope that there are some of you. I do try to forge paths if I can. It's a sub ambition of mine for anyone that's looking for good music, but you just haven't searched maybe the European landscape yet. If so, let's let this be the start of your rabbit trail. <laughs> it won't take you that long to be like, I don't want to leave. That's where I've been the last year or so. <laughs> Oh, it's a great place to be in. There's just so much talent here. But maybe some of you are approaching on a first name, ba or not first name, an established basis for them. And so you're getting the perspective here of somebody who is entertaining this piece for the first time. Very recent debut as of yesterday. Wintry Heart, I love the name. It's a performance video, no less, as well, like the uh, other tracks. I, I, I really like that live flair that's taking place. It's not an. You know, and hey, I like overly, you know, overly. I like produced music videos with some sort of intention on part of story or realization and narrative. And that was the case to some degree with um, the last track, Deadlight. Such a beautiful number. Uh, it was kind of like a hybrid between the performance video and story structure. But I, I like the live feeling. I love being able to sense the passion of the artist. And that definitely connects with Sirenia. I hope you experience the same, and I hope you have a fun time with them. And let this be the start, perhaps, to your Sirenia journey, which I'm still working through, of course, but I'm having a great time. I've been waiting for more. Here we go. We're going to enjoy this together for the first time. Wintry Heart, the video that came alongside as well to couple with the piece. And as always, maybe you're not familiar with my coverage, I do provide lyrics for you directly in the video feed if you'd like to read along with the narrative of the story. Um, if that is, I want to satisfy ambitions of viewer taste individually to the best of my ability. And... It offers a bit of a complete feeling. So if you want to read the lyrics, they're here for you. Anywho, Wintry Heart. Here we go. More Sirenia. I've been waiting. Get ready for a fun experience, I'm sure. Ah, I like that piano tune. Morton does that a lot with more teamy, and I just I found it so alluring. Oh, I like the harder drive here. 
Okay. Good establishment. The last couple tracks have had a bit of a pop flare, so this is harsher. Ah, man. The depth. Mesh with those strings, too. I love the harsher tone of this one. <laughs> the harder riffs are a nice touch as well. And the mix between Nils and Lauren just is so satisfying with this. Oh, nice place under the pause. Although the momentum is quickly reintroduced. Perfect structure. Great follow up to Dead Light. This is track two on the album, so it initiates in a very strong manner. <sighs> the duality of emphasis on the bass and the percussion. Perfection. And then we just sink right back into those piano tones. Man, I love it. Key change? Okay. Or it might swing back in on the original, we'll see. Yep. That's happened on occasion, so I... I, I predicted correctly. <laughs> Incredibly effective pacing, too. If I haven't already acknowledged it, just... One of her stronger works, in my opinion. It's such beautiful accompanying elements. I love artists that just go for it. In every respect. Oh my word. You know? Oh, man. That is everything I hope for with Sirenia. And the harsher tone. Beautiful. You know, I tend, as I said, I keep a wide scope on favorability and approach when it comes to metal. And, you know, music generally is subjectively preferential, right? And not everybody's a metal fan. I know that better than most. I've said many times when I approach music on this channel. I love the fellowship aspect. I, I relish it with you. Many of you who have graced my comments. I know, again, like I said, in terms of the fellowship experience, it's a bit unorthodox in that here I am just talking to, you know, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more so like a, a fellowship experience and sort of isolation. But I do like to you know, capture my feelings and generally initiate a discussion that we can have. And we, you know, I've entertained that in many respects to different artists. Again, music is an intentionally growing presence here. I, I Just the reverence I have for the creativity and the general universal ability. Uh, 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 now, I, I want to reword this. 
in other art spaces, and I'm sure a number of you maybe follow my work in other entertainment ventures here, uh, meet with me on this channel, know this, I like being able to be considerate and kind to every work. I, you know, I don't want to be a negative Nelly. And in other artistic scenes, I've seen maybe, you know, um, artistic strength, or in other places I've seen art in a state of wanting. Not with music. I like having positive things to say. Especially just sitting back and being so transfixed on expertise, on passion. And I love that feeling that I can share with you in that respect in showcasing just how beautiful of an art form music is. It truly is, as I said, my favorite and the most potent, in my opinion, based on the connection I have with it, of the artistic languages. I do hope that if I can in any way manage to forge connective paths for you to explore good art. I'll be satisfied in knowing that maybe if some of you approach on the basis of, I didn't know who Cyrenia was, I never humored them before, but I love them, I want to hear more. I'll know I've satisfied that goal in some respect. I'd love to hear about that down below if that happens to be a case. Not, you know, to be like, hey, I'm true to my own horn over here, my success. <sighs> Again, as I said, I love music for being a connective thread, or what it can be. And I always say, you know, from I frequently regard this, <laughs> when I consider my specified interest in the music scene, and metal truly is just such an exquisite landscape for me, I consider that not everybody has the same approach, right? Again, music is, you know, individually determined on approach, right? And some might not like metal. I always think of my social circle whenever I regard that, because especially in the European regard, no... 99% of the groups I highlight with like one occasion of exception that I talked to somebody else I knew and were like, oh, actually, you know that group? Um, that was years ago. But um, generally, there is no connection. I am very isolated on my tastes, but I do consider myself fortunate and honored, really, to bring on, I've, I've said this to many artists, not just Sirenia, but they certainly qualify. <sighs> I love highlighting good art. I love being able to showcase true strength and just have a fun time. And maybe if I can in any way inspire new devotion for you to explore talents that I've had the pleasure of being introduced to on account of many of you, right? Now, Sirenia I knew about again for the Bertemia regard. That was a self-exploration, right? But in many other cases, I've covered other artists that have been supplied names. And I catalog a great share. Many of you, you know, throw in a number of names into the basket. <laughs> I'm on like multiple pages now in terms of artists I have to peruse. <laughs> and, you know, I'm slowly but surely getting through showcasing a number of them on the channel. Sometimes some faster than others. But Sirenia, you know, I've loved humoring them since I first started, Right? alongside many of the artists that I consult frequently and have had the real pleasure and honor to. And I don't use that regard in any way, to, you know, in honor to be exaggerated. I truly mean it. Sirenia is so fulfilling. And I've seen, you know, it maybe in regards, again, like I said, I, I maybe come at this from a bit of an individualized um, point of respect. Because I know I'm much younger in my days with Sirenia. I know I'm still kind of exploring some of their older works. I have seen maybe, you know, again, but what we've heard thus far, the other tracks have demonstrated more of a pop flair on 1977. I've liked it. In particular, because again, I'm just a big symphonic metal guy generally. And the traits to what I've come to admire with Sirenia since a selection of work from Arcane Astral Aeons... I really like the elements they utilize. I have seen maybe some opinion of, you know, maybe there are other fans who kind of want, uh, from my understanding, I'm trying to be fair on this. To, maybe I'm getting some of the wording wrong here, but again, feel free to, you know, if you've maybe seen the same type of uh, discourse, feel free to, you know, clarify maybe where I'm or, or, or wrong or maybe not going in detail enough down below if you wish to. I've seen maybe some people saying, like, you know, some of the traits maybe from pre existent Sirenia from older eras, maybe that's a desired mainstay. So, to be fair, maybe, again, like I said, there could be a, a generous uh, uh, degree of approach. I, for myself, I've just been embracing every piece from what I've heard. I've really come to like each piece individually. And again, like I said, music is very much a subjective experience, right? And if we can all accept that, right? It, it's just a general commonality anywhere you look in the music scene. As well as generally with art, 
you know, in a broad sense. I've been quite fulfilled on the evolution thus far of 1977, and we're early on in the scope of the album, by the way. This is the second track following Deadlight. That's the initial. And then we've also heard Twist in My Sobriety, the cover. So there's eight of her works that are going to evolve from here. But I think in terms of a strong, or in terms of a launch, this is a dominant piece. I love the force of it. I also love the spotlight on Emmanuel's range and her emphasis. There's such variety to her vocals there. Oh, I love her. <laughs> I, love, I love hearing. Again, you know, in, in part with this channel and exploring certain groups, um, I've developed a love for, I never knew I would be this way when I was younger. <laughs> like, I like opera now, but when it's involved in the metal scene, right? And it's not just the manual. I've heard other artists, uh, Simone Simons, uh, Amber Vuverhees, um, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, the front lady of uh, Zandria, um, Uli Perhonen, and a couple of her I'm forgetting about at the time, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm still making my way through again. Many of your recommendations and we follow along those lines as well. But I, I love listening to Emmanuel sing. And she's coupled with a beautiful song on melodic elements. And this really has a generous Mortimia vibe. I love the piano opening cue. And I love the string involvement. I love the integration. Again, I'm part of a harder riff structure to an... Uh, Again, a general mix, I believe, between Morton and Nils. Nils shine here, too. That breakdown worked well. And the percussion work. Everything here is so tight. I love the visions, though, that, that Sirenia makes in terms of their music. It's always so much fun. And the lyrics, it's a great fantastical tale. By the way, the blue lighting on the visualizer component works fittingly for the wintertime scene. And whatever this... I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on women's fashion, of course. But, like, this jacket Emmanuel's wearing, the collar... Like the feather pattern? Real winter vibe. It's nice in appearance. Again, everything fits in terms of scenery. And the passion. I just love that connection with music. I love that. So the performance dynamic. You really sense the love from the artists and what they do. And you feel that passion as an audience member that I've not had the pleasure of humoring yet live. I would love to. I'm hoping for an opportunity that one day I get to see Sirenia alive. That would be great. Hopefully. Maybe in Europe. Maybe I'll make it over there. Maybe they'll come over to the U.S. I think they've been over here before, maybe on certain occasions. I just haven't... I haven't been a fan long enough to be engaged in that respect, but uh, I will be. Since I started with them, I can't tell you what month it was. You can maybe look back on the release. It was close enough to when I filmed those videos, though I'm delayed on uploading everything. Um, I get behind rather quickly, as many of you know. Uh, it's only been for like the last... Under a year or so, I think, that I've been a fan. But... I'm in love with symphonic metal, and Sirenia has been a wonderful group to humor. I've loved being able to feature them on the channel and get a better taste for their work, their newer releases of many of you. Again, a first taste. That's what I like with music, but we can have a mutual experience of sorts, for sure. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below, Wintry Heart. If you do wish to disclose your thoughts and your angle of approach, as I always say, first-time fan, uh, long-time fan, I'd love to hear about it down below. And if you are a first-time fan, are you compelled to look deeper? I hope you are. Again, that was my tease. I'm like, I'm telling you, I've listened to 11 pieces, no, 12, counting Dim Days of Lore, in total for myself. 11 of you, countering Wintry Heart, or wi Wintry Heart, and I've loved everything I've heard. Or no, wait, 10 people? I don't know. I'm mixed up on order now. I cover so many songs. Forgive me if my number count is inaccurate. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below is what I'm generally trying to say again if you wish to uh, disclose such information down below. <sighs> this piece is everything. And again, the, I, I was going to mention the lyrics as well. Again, strong fantasy vision blended with that wintertime dream. I love the scenery of it. On a night in mid-December. Wrong month, though. We're, in, we're coming up to summer. <laughs> Well, okay, we're going a bit out. Hey, you know, um, the hourglass from Artemia also is kind of set outside of the winter season. I don't know. Winter's my favorite season, so it's easily attractive on that point. It's just funny. I'm like, I'm looking at this in the summertime while it's 80 degrees outside. <laughs> or hotter. <laughs> so it's kind of an opposition to the vision of the song, at least for the for the scenery and realism, but it's a fun feel. Either way, you can better enjoy this, I guess, in winter as a point of reference and connection that better fits there. Oh, man. I, I love Sirenia. It's just fun, again, to experience their music. Wintery Heart is no exception. I love the evolution of 1977. It is a pleasure to entertain this album. And just everything here again shines. The percussion work mixed with the bass use. The uh, Also, the like bell ending. Uh, or I think it was like a bell or something. Whatever sound effect that was in the closure. 
such a good idea in practice. It's kind of like chimes, like higher pitch chimes. I love that. Again, I love the scenery of their pieces. Just a wide scope, but it's just enthralling. I love Cyrenia in every respect, especially on vocals too. Emmanuel's just so talented. You know, as I said, I'm in a Cyrenia mood. Don't be surprised. No promises. All I'll say for now is don't be surprised if Winry Hard is not the conclusion. Or if, if it doesn't end up being that. With 1977 in particular. Keep your eyes peeled, perhaps. We'll see. I don't know. We might return to Cyrenia soon, because again, I just want to hear more. And I love the experience of showcasing Cyrenia with you, and again, humoring good artists such as them. And maybe paving routes for you for artists you've never experienced before you're gonna, you are going to have a fun time with in the future, very much like I am. I'm honored to be a Cyrenia fan. I'm honored to regard such good art here. And Wintry Heart is no exception to the beauty that I've experienced with this group time and time again. Only for 11 pieces in total for me, I think again, forgive me if my account's inaccurate. <laughs> but I've loved everything I've heard. I really love this piece. It's a beauty from them. I love that rougher edge. And as it, the album evolves, I, I can't wait to hear more. Winry Heart is just a, one of their best pieces, in my opinion. Just as good as Deadlight and Twist of My Sobriety, although Deadlight being my favorite up, up to this point. Um, well, this one might be inching up a little more because of the rougher edge, admittedly, although I love Deadlight. It's an honor to showcase this piece here, or maybe, you know, have that connection with you. And it's certainly in that experience. I find Winry Heart just beautiful. Can't wait to re-listen to it for myself, in fact, immediately. It's so good. It's everything I hoped it would be. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.